now we have executed the uh, create table statement so if you go to the object explorer tables you can select this uh, tweet table is available now let's move into the Azure portal uh, overview and let's go to the query editor still in the preview mode let's try to connect to the database So let's check whether the tweet table is available. It's there. So you can see all the columns here. Now we are going to use this tweet filter database component inside the logic app designer. So if there are no any profanity term is equal to null. If this is equal to null, I'm going to add the action and let's select the SQL server and insert row and we want to let's add a new connection after creating the database actually you have to save the logic cap then refresh the logic cap designer then only that tweet table will be available so I will give a connection name like uh, tweet filter and let's select the server and the tweet filter database let's give the username password and click on create it's getting created Now we have to select the table name. Okay. Now we want to. Uh, now you can see uh, this tweet tweet user created date time. If you see that from here, all the uh, not null columns are available, like tweet, tweet user, created date. Those columns are not null null values are not allowed because of that those three columns were available by default for the tweet we are going to add the tweet text so let's select the tweet text is available yeah the text content of the tweet for the tweet user we have to add tweeted by for the creator date time We have to. Uh, these are the uh, available profanity terms. Those are that. Those are related to the this step, the previous step. Uh, so, I want to select the created date field. Yeah, that's there. Now let's try to add the other parameters as well user profile image URL uh, tweet ID so I'm not going to use attachment image URL in this step so I will add the user profile image URL and tweet ID for the user I want to select the name of the user the, for the profile image URL I want to select profile image URL URL of the profile image and for the tweet ID let's select the ID of the tweet and let's click on save Okay, now let's uh, move into the false side, the false statement. 
so I will add action uh, and actually I want to add a for each statement if there will be multiple profanity terms detected so I want to select a for each control and for the for each I have to I want to select detected profanity terms right this is a collection and I will add uh, another action to just to check whether uh, that should be a condition and I'm going to check whether uh, the profanity term uh, detected profanity term item is greater than zero uh, before that one I think that's better if you if we could run this uh, logic cap and see, check whether there what is the output values we are getting so I will save this one so in the next video let's try to run this logic cap and check whether what are the results we are getting